In June 2024, elections in the European Parliament will be held in 27 EU member states. According to Politico, their transparency may be jeopardized by Russia's growing espionage and propaganda network. According to the publication's analysis, Russian disinformation has already started spreading deepfakes, false news stories and fake websites. According to the publication, the Kremlin has created an entire network of controlled media. The main challenge these operations pose for Europe is that they are warfare without crossing the threshold into outright war. Rather, they blur the line between peace and war, creating dilemmas about how to respond. And with today's evolved media landscape, which brings its own challenges to contend with, such as new social media trends, this makes content moderation more difficult. From publication in Politico. However, European leaders claim that they are ready to counter such threats. For example, Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo said that as a part of a fight against Russian disinformation, the country can now prosecute people for interfering in European elections. De Croo said he will raise an issue of countering Russian interference at a meeting of European leaders in Brussels next week. Our federal prosecutor has started an investigation which is based on the declassified report that our intelligence services have brought out. We must remain very vigilant to any future elections and definitely related to the European election, which is happening at the beginning of June. The only intent is to weaken European democracy and to weaken the support for Ukraine, which is one of the objectives that Russia has. Alexander de Croix. Prime Minister of Belgium from publication in Bloomberg. As experts explain, the Kremlin's influence in Europe can be traced back to 1960s. At that time, Moscow actively began to supply oil to European countries, which gave it the opportunity to manipulate and bribe local elites. Speaking about European voters, analysts believe that Moscow is spreading fakes in social networks. The Kremlin's goal is to initiate as many conflicts as possible in European politics by supporting various radical movements. The extreme right, which have such an extremist anti-immigrant stance, for example, and the extreme left, which excessively supports migrants. For the Kremlin, it is important to polarize society so that they cannot find a consensus. This gives them the opportunity to implement their policies. In particular, on February 28, the Czech Security and Information Service announced that it had imposed sanctions against Viktor Medvedchuk, a former MP from the banned pro-Russian party and Putin's friend who ran a number of influence networks from the Russian Federation. The sanctions list also included the Voice of Europe company and media producer and propagandist Artyom Marchevsky. According to the agency, the website spread disinformation and propaganda directed against Ukraine. The Czech media wrote that the Information Security Service had uncovered a network organized by Russia that tried to influence the European Parliament elections in various European countries. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska and Andriy Dmitrenko, UATV News.